Hello, and welcome to part 17 of the video series Cisco UCCE 12.x Build Your Own Lab. In this video, I'm going to be configuring Cisco CBP. Okay, as you can see, I've got my administration PC here. And what we're going to do first is we're actually going to upgrade CBP to uh, 1261 and then apply the latest patches before we actually do the configuration. So I'm going to open up mremote ng. And we don't have the CVP server set up, so I'm going to click on there. I'm going to right click, I'm going to duplicate, I'm going to click on it, I'm going to come down here and change that to lab CVP01. And I'm going to change the IP address to 41. I'm going to remove the domain because it's not part of the domain. I'm going to make sure that the disk drives are selected and then I'll double click. Now I've got the upgrade software on my administration PC. So I'm going to copy it to the CVP server. I'm going to open up File Explorer. I'm going to click on this PC. I am then going to click on Drive C, Users, Me, Downloads. I'm going to order it by date modified. I'm then going to select the two files. So I'm going to drag that one. Okay, I'm going to select the other one and drag it to the desktop. So we're first going to run this one that's just CVP 12.6.1 Going to click next Click I accept and then click next Click OK, click Install. This is probably going to take a little bit of time, so what I'm going to do is pause the video and then come back when the upgrade has been completed. Okay, the upgrade is now done. I am going to click on no. I will restart my computer later and click finish. The reason is we're going to also apply this other update. So I'm going to run that now. Click next, I accept, next, okay, and install. 
Again, this is going to take a bit of time, so I'm going to pause until it's done. Okay, the installation is now done, so I'm going to click on finish and the server will reboot. I'm now going to go ahead and close this um, remote NG. We're going to give it about five minutes for the server and services to come back up and then we'll move on to the configuration of CVP. The first thing to do is to open browser. And we're going to go to the CVP uh, management configuration tool. So we're going to go to HTTPS 10 100 10.41 colon 9443 slash OAMP. I'm going to click on advanced and continue. We're going to sign in as administrator. And if you remember, this required an extra long password, so we're putting the uh, normal password in twice. And click login. Okay, we're going to click device management, unified CVP call server. We're going to click Add New. The IP address is going to be 10 100 10.41. Host name is going to be Lab CVP01. And in here we're going to put CVP Call Server. We're going to click on ICM, IVR, SIP, click next. We're now going to click on the ICM tab. We're going to change the maximum length of DNS, DNIS to 4. And we're going to click save and deploy. Okay, that's been done. You can click back. Now device management. Unified CVP the XML server. I'm going to click add new. The IP address is going to be 10 100 10.41. Host name lab CVP01. Description CVP BXML server and the primary call server is going to be lab CVP1 and we'll click save and deploy. And we'll click OK. Now we can click back and we can see that that is now configured. Okay, we're going to click on that again. We're going to click on the configuration tab. And we're going to click yes there. 
and in this we're going to put star dot star dot star dot star save and deploy click OK and back now we're going to go to device management CVP reporting server add new IP address again is going to be 10.100.10.41 lab CVP01 CVP reporting server we're going to click on this and click the right arrow to move it to selected Again, I'm going to click save and deploy, click on OK. You can click back. That is now configured. And I'm going to do device management, gateway, add new. IP address is going to be the IP address of the router, which is 10 100. 10.1 Hostname Lab RTR01 Device type It's going to be 29XX And that's going to be Cisco Voice Gateway We're now going to fill this information. Username is going to be admin. Put the password in. And then we're going to click test sign in. Sign in with successful. So we click save. Click back. Okay, now we're going to click on device management, media server, add new. IP address 10.100.10.41 Lab CVP01 Put media server Click save Click back Now I'm gonna open this a bit more I need to click on that and then click on deploy now we can click on deployment status okay they are both successful now we'll do device management unified CM Add new IP address. This is the IP address of the Cisco call manager, which is 10 100 10.21. That's going to be lab CUCM01. Description is going to be call manager. The device admin URL is HTTPS 10 100. 10 21 colon 8443 slash ccm admin we're going to click there username admin put the password in
Zip. Device Management, Unified ICM, Add New. This is going to be 10.100, 10.31. Lab, AW, HDS01. Description, ICM, Server. Click Save. back click on system location okay we now need to click on the synchronize button and we'll check the status it's in progress so we'll click refresh a few times Okay, it's successful. So we'll click back. Now we'll see the locations are listed here. We'll now click on call server deployment. Uh, we need to make sure that the, uh, the server on the right hand side. So we'll click the right arrow to make sure it's over there. Now we can click save and deploy. Then we can click on status, deployment status, and we can see it was successful. So now we can click on system control center and see the status of all of our, and see what we've configured so far. Now you notice that these three servers are showing up. Yours may show uh, two servers as being down and um, this is because I rebooted this server after some configurations were made so the these services are now showing as being up so this is it for the configuration of CVP for just now we will be coming back um, shortly during the BBB configuration to make some further changes. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and like the video and see you next time.